child. Let me get this hair together, child. This one little piece. Let's get this wig right. Hey, cousins. Hey, cousins. Y'all know I be coming from Instagram, child. Sorry, I'm a little tardy. So I'm a little tardy. All right, rule number one, subscribe to the YouTube page. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to the YouTube page. Let's start with that. Um, let me, oh, cousins with the K. Shout out where you guys are watching from. Someone said I'm fixing my Wi-Fi. It was Instagram. I don't, that's not my Wi-Fi. That was IG. Cousins with a K. I'm about to put the link for you guys to join in the comment section. Um, the link to be a guest is in the comment section on YouTube. So if you want to be a guest on the show, you want to come on and find love, the I link is in a, so if you want to be a pin the link. I just pinned the link. Someone said pin the link. I'm pinning the link. Okay. So the link is in the comment section if you want to be a guest on YouTube. Now let me put it on Facebook. New York's in the building, Cleveland, Ohio's in the building, Michigan's in the building. Um, all right, and the link is also, oh, cancel. The link is also in the Facebook comment section. So if you wanna be a, all right. So the link to be a guest is in the Facebook comment section and in the YouTube comment section. So if you wanna be an actual guest on the show, Link is in the comment section. Y'all send the money already. Kendra always late. Don't cuss. Don't cuss out. Don't cuss me out, please. Oh, someone said no. It's, oh, no, it's fine. I am always late. That's a fact. I apologize, child. I am. I always be late because I mean, let me tell you something. You know, I'm going from show to show to show, and sometimes I be needing to take a. You know, I had to eat some pineapples. I be wanting to get some water. I might have to use the ladies' room. I might have to make a quick phone call. So yes, in between each show, I'm always a tad bit late. Although I start Facebook off and I'm late. I'm I'm black. Can I blame it on black being black? Either way, we're here now. Don't this is the problem. Y'all worrying about the past. Just focus on the present. So this is the problem. I'm, I'm gonna talk to you like a man. This is why we can't get nowhere in life because you worrying about what I did yesterday. Where am I at right now? I'm in your face. If I want to be with you, I want to be with you. See, I'm trying over here. I'm trying to build a life. But all you want to do is talk about the fact that I slept with your sister yesterday. Yesterday, we can't even get that shit back. I want a woman that knows how to progress and be in the present. See, that's the problem right there. See, huh, huh. if I wanted to be with her, I would be there with her, but I'm with you. And, and we can't move forward because you always worrying about what happened in the past. See, see, see. I need a bitch that got amnesia. I need, I need a woman that got amnesia that can only remember in due time. Okay? Now, what you want to eat? What, what you want to eat? <laughs> Ladies, did I do good? Is that how the men be? Did I, did, I, did, I do, did I do the men good? Men, did I do it right? Did I do it right? Talk about some. Talk about some. Talk about some. I'm still sleeping with my baby mama. See, you selfish. You selfish because all you think about is yourself. All you think about is yourself. See, I need a woman that know how to share, okay? Because how you gonna own, how you gonna want me all to yourself? You want me to be a good dad? You want me to be a good dad? Oh, so you so so you want to be with a man who don't know how to be a good father? Because me, sister, my baby mama, make sure that that house is good. But I'm with you too. See, you you know what? I already could tell when you was in kindergarten, you ain't played well with others because you wanted everything to yourself. That ain't the kind of woman I need. <laughs> Niggas ain't shit. If I ain't never say it. Child, I know I could. I tell you all the time, one time before many, 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 many years ago, when I, that literally happened, I'm, I'm, I'm reenacting. <laughs> An actual conversation many years ago. This guy literally told me I was selfish because I was mad that he would still be with his baby mama at times, and I was a selfish woman for wanting him all to myself. He told me that. Some of this, I can, I could write a movie. I really could write a movie. Let's go. Let's go. I'm in a really silly mood tonight. Um, hopefully, y'all keep me in a silly mood. But let's do it. <laughs> Oh God. So you want to have good Wi-Fi, have good 
like no videos come down. Kendra G, that is um, someone said that low key is selfish. Kendra G, um, that is me. I'm not reliable or liable for anybody you meet. Whoever you meet is on you, boo. Okay, real quick, I'm gonna stay focused. I'm gonna share one more conversation. So you guys probably don't even know this, but one of my close friends is Country Wayne. So Country Wayne and I had a conversation earlier today. And I was telling Wayne, he's not a husband. He can't be a one person husband because he, you know, he got 10 kids, which you already know, but he is the husband to a lot of women. So he can never just have one wife. It was a good conversation. So let's say focus. All right. I feel you. I'm going to say focus. Let's get into our show. Nurse, you ready, nurse? Nurse, show me the room, nurse. You ready? Okay. Let's try it. Powerful. Hello, you ready? Yeah, give me one second. Let me sit down. Have you been here before? <laughs> no. Okay. Get it together. You look, you got your lip glosses popping. <laughs> Thank you. Let me sit in my office real quick. Okay. Are the patients good? Why are you looking for somebody, child? <laughs> no. The patients, the patients are good. Are good? The patients are good. I'm a supervisor, so I don't have to worry about them. <laughs> All right, make sure that okay. light behind you. We, I work with it. Maybe it's me. Okay, that's Hold better. On. Well, you want the light to be in your face. This is good. That's good. All right, here we go. Um, what you want me? Is it Nurse Jackie? Nurse Jackie, yeah. Jackie. Um, how old are you? 39. 39. What you do for a living? I'm a nurse. I'm a nursing administrative supervisor. Duh. Her name is Nurse Jackie. That was a, that was a slow Kendra moment. You have any kids? Nope. No kids. What's your zodiac sign? I'm a Leo. A Leo. And what city you live in? Orlando. Orlando. All right. So we got Nurse Jackie, 39, Leo. Have you ever been married? Nope. Um, never married, no kids. Is a nurse, Orlando, Florida. What kind of man mm -hmm. you looking for, girl? I'm looking for an intelligent man. I'm looking for somebody that knows how to laugh and have a good time. I'm looking for somebody that can carry himself in a boardroom, but can also carry himself in an amusement park. You know what I mean? Somebody that I would be proud to bring home to meet my father and be able to say this is somebody that, you know, has good morals and values and can look my dad in the eye and, and shake his hand and I'd you know and be like yeah this is this is this is a good one dad you know what I mean like that's important to me I'm a daddy's girl so okay so she thing. wants a man that her father would approve of yeah okay um what are your deal breakers besides daddy ain't gonna like you my deal breakers are I don't like gold teeth I live in Florida and there's something about men down here with gold teeth and it just it ain't, it ain't for me. Oh, Lord, it ain't for me. Um, Somebody who's not funny, because I am silly. I am silly. I don't take myself seriously at all. And I love to laugh all the time. So somebody who's just like too stuck up and can't laugh and just relax, like that's not for me at all. And somebody who can't carry an intellectual conversation, like I need somebody who's going to stimulate me mentally and challenge me mentally, you know? So if you're not capable of doing that, then that's definitely a deal breaker for me. Okay, so you look a certain way. I like tall guys, to be honest. Um, I'm 5'7", I'm a plus size girly, you know, I'm, I'm full figured, you know, I'm not a skinny girl. So I definitely like a more chunky or husky guy. Um, but I definitely like somebody who's a little bit taller. Um, I like feeling protected, you know, and I feel like I feel more protected with somebody who's a little bit taller. I definitely love the bald head and, and, and nice full beard that that's something that's real sexy to me. But other than that, no, once I'm attracted to you, like physically and to me, once I'm attracted to you intellectually, then, you know, I'm, I'm good from there. Okay. Uh, what about money? Should you make a certain amount of money? I would want him to make at least what I make. I've dated men that have made less than what I make. 
And that was really difficult because I'm somebody who likes to spoil my partner. I'm somebody who likes to spend money and likes to go on trips and do things together. And it's really hard when I'm dealing with a man who can't do that because he's not financially there. So I would prefer somebody who makes something a little more or at least around what, what, what I make, you know. So what is that minimum number? 100K. Okay, so at least 100K. And in the past, you dated men that made less. And what was the issues you guys were having? I think it more had to do with their own self-esteem issues because I never really tried to make them feel any type of way about what they made. I love them for who they were. But like I said, I'm somebody who likes to spoil my guy, you know, so I'm going to buy you whatever you like or whatever you want or whatever you may have thought of or whatever you may have pointed out to me. You know, I don't have any kids, you know what I'm saying? And I'm a nurse. I make decent money. So if I'm in a relationship, that's you're, you're the person that I want to put my time, effort, attention, money into. And a lot of the men that I were, was with, they weren't making you know, they probably making about 40 K and couldn't, you know, do the same thing. And it made them feel some type of way and made them feel less than as a man. And to me, it's like, okay, if that's making you feel a certain type of way, I'm not making you feel that way. You feel that way because you're not capable of doing what you want to do. Then let's try something else. You know, there's more hours in the day. There's more opportunities available let's see what else we can do. Let's go back to school. Let's, you know, get another job. Let's do something else. But if that really is something that's bothering you, then you got to do something about it. You know? Got you. Just curious. Have you ever dated a man that made a hundred K or more? No. 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 Uh, lie. Lie. Yes. I have. What happened with him? We were together off and on for 13 years. The relationship just kind of fizzled out and just was it a relationship off and on? So was it an exclusive relationship? Yeah, we were together the longest part of that off and on. We were together for six years and then we broke up for a while and then we came back together and broke up and came back together. Y'all together for six years straight? Yeah. What happened? Like, did y'all ever talk about marriage or seriousness? Yeah, we did, but I was really young. I met him when I was like 20. 2021. Um, you were making 100k so at 21 years old? No, 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 no. He he was he was nine years older than me, and he was in the military. Okay. So he was making decent money. Um, but I just wasn't at that point yet in my life to want to settle down and be married to anybody. And then when I was ready, he wasn't ready. And he's somebody who likes to date, but doesn't like to settle down. That's what I was going to say. Like, so I just wonder, not saying you're not going to get this, but what would the challenge be if you don't find a man that makes a certain amount of money that you desire that wants to be in a committed relationship? Money to me isn't everything. To me, if I find a man who is loyal and kind and honest and just has a good heart, then that to me means more to me than anything. Now, then 100K isn't the requirement then. It's not, well, I, okay. Yeah. I wouldn't say it's a requirement then it's a preference. It's something I would like to have, but I wouldn't say necessarily then it's a requirement. Okay. But it's a desire. Fair enough. Yeah. Let's do it at Kendra Cam. No, let me try to put it down somewhere in my office so y'all could see me. Let me unplug it. Oh, hold on. Let me back up. All right. Then we can see you. Turn around on them. <laughs> of okay. course, I gotta turn around. We got you, Mama. We got you, Boo. All right, put the key. Are okay, you about, about to move it? There we go. All right, so we got Nurse Jackie, thirty-nine. What's the age range you would date? I would date anywhere from like thirty-five to like fifty-five. Thirty-five, fifty-five. Should he be in Orlando? Doesn't have to be, no. Could he have kids already? Yes. Okay. And do you want kids? Just no baby mama drama. Okay, no baby mama drama. Do you want kids yourself? No. Oh, you don't want kids? Okay. No. All right. When was your last relationship? Last year. Last year. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? Last year. Okay. Three flaws you have to work on. Three flaws I have to work on. 
I have to work on my procrastination. I do that way too much. Um, what else do I have to work on? I have to work on being consistent um, with things in my life. And um, what else do I have to work on? I would say physically, I have to work on, I definitely want to lose weight. And why would a guy be lucky to be with you? I think I'm just really down to earth. I'm really chill. I'm really easy to be with. I'm not someone that cares about being in your phone and being on your Instagram and checking on a grown ass man. Like I just want somebody who can be my partner. You know what I mean? I'm really silly and funny and I'm hardworking. I'm a genuine person. Um, so I think I think I'm a good catch. You know what I mean? So I think somebody would be really lucky to be with me. Let's do it. We got Jackie, 39, Leo, is a nurse, no kids. Orlando, Florida. Um, she'll date 35 to 55. Okay with you having children. Um, preference is 100K. Willing to negotiate if all things are there. Biggest thing is she wants a man that her dad would like. Um, we have some questions for you. Are you okay. ready? Yeah. I, I should, I like to, let me read it first because, um, okay. I'm reading it with you because human paradox said, ladies, you don't get a hundred K men by making a hundred K. You get a hundred K men by looking like the kind of woman that a hundred K man would be with. What does that mean? He's saying that I think a lot of women feel as though because they make 100K, well, I understand it from the logical sense. You want to, most women want the man to be the provider and to, work, to make more. Oh my God. So, hello. Good. Yeah, I'm here. Okay. So I think what he's saying is most women want a provider and want a man to make more. So if a, if a woman makes 100K, logically, I understand she wants that man that makes that or more. Well, he is saying that a 100K man is dating based off of, I guess, looks, not on how much money you make first. Okay. I can understand that, but I I think I look like someone who's worth dating a man that makes a hundred k. And boo, she says she looks like the woman. Okay. Draymond um, Domino said, "You are beautiful in every way, girl. Good luck." Thank you. Okay. Um, oh, I think this is for me, Kendra. Your show is a new BET one hundred six and Park. When it's live, it's time to come inside and tune in. <laughs> That's funny. Um, okay. All right. Well, listen, let's do it, girlfriend. How can the guy reach out to you? Um, so I have Instagram. My Instagram is at Jackie, which is the way you see it spelled there, J-A-C-Q-U-I-E, Jackie C-0802. 0802. Okay, Jackie, will you keep me posted how it goes, baby? I will. Yeah, go by. Um, before, oh, I didn't mean to hang up on her that abruptly. I want to respond to a comment that I saw I was going fast. And I don't know if it's the same honey, because it was a honey on Facebook leaving comments, and then I saw a honey here that said, don't let Kendra convince you of taking care of men. When did I ever try to convince anybody to take care of a man? If there's anything I try to do which is enlightened, 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 um is that first of all no we all don't have the same no no one person has the same exact dating option so let's start there just because like not every black woman has the same dating options not every white woman has the same dating options not the same hispanic women have the same dating options so let's start there you got to figure out your own individual dating options now i don't know you okay you know you <laughs> I don't know you. The cousins don't even know you, but you know you. And the first dating options that you have are your reality. So who's trying to date you? That's your dating options. Now, if the people that are trying to date you, you don't want back, then it's up to you to change. That's all that we can do. And 
And sometimes maybe you can't change. Like, I don't know what the situation can be. So this whole narrative of Kendra's trying to convince women to take care of men is just bullshit. Really, I know the truest, there's so many happy people in relationships that some are rich, some are poor. Like, it's companionship. You're happy. And that's what I want for everybody. I want everyone to find that their person and to live a happy life and whatever that may be. But, honey, I don't know what it is, girl, but you need to get you some. I want you to find a man so bad because I need your ass to break up with me. Okay? I don't know what it is. I don't know if you backed up. Your, your, your vagina's obviously dry because only only dry vagina be that mad for hours. I was on Facebook two damn hours ago and your ass still mad, honey. So I don't know what it is, child. But go get you a gigolo and, and get knocked up for a night so your ass can stop following me from show to show to show. Shit! They keep going, child. You know, them dry vaginas, child, they be upset. Um, Let's see. Have I got any guys in queue? Ooh, I don't know about this one. Um, Scorpio, show me the room. Scorpio, show me the room. Okay. Hello? Hey, Kendra. Hey, Scorpio, get more in the middle. All right. Okay. All right. All right, Scorpio. This, I mean, I can see you in the light. You got the lights on. I can see you. It's fine. Uh, is your name Scorpio? Yes. Scorpio, where are you calling me from? Cincinnati, Ohio. Cincinnati, Ohio. Okay. How old are you, Scorpio? I'm 33. 33. What you do for a living? I'm a truck driver. Truck driver. You look younger than 33. Thank you. <laughs> do you have any kids? No. No kids. What's your zodiac sign? I'm a Pisces. I'm Pisces. All right, and we got, so we got Scorpio, 33, Cincinnati, Ohio, is a truck driver, no kids, a Pisces. What kind of man you looking for, girl? Um, just, I don't even know for real, just like somebody that's uh, not annoying. Um, not I don't annoying. Like yeah, it's just not annoying because, like, men annoy the shit out of me for some reason. Like, well, lately they've been annoying the shit out of me. Um, just because I feel like a lot of them just, I don't know. Like, a lot of them just only looking for one thing, and I don't get it. Like, what are men, What's the one thing men are looking for? Like, it's always just looking for somebody to sleep with. And sleeping with somebody is not that hard. Like, just go get a fucking prostitute if that's what you're looking for. Like, you know, if you're on a dating app, why are you on a dating app looking for a hookup? You know, there's prostitutes on the corner. Just, like, go do that. But, yeah, like, I, I just, somebody that's just not annoying, um... I do not like men with kids, like, at all. And if he does have kids, they have to be adults. Um, I don't like kids. I'm going to put it out there. I do not like kids. I don't want a man with kids. I want nothing to do with it. Um, um, and I hate liars. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, tell them like it is, Scorpio. Get it off huh? your chest. <laughs> you, oh, yeah, Definitely. I have to put that out there because there's, of course, being in my 30s and then I'll date a younger dude, but like me and my age are older, of course, they have kids or whatever, but I have to put it out there that I don't like kids. So like, don't come to me with kids. That's not going to work. Okay. Do you want your own kids one day or no? No. No. Okay. Scorpio, do me a favor. It's not the biggest deal, but can you just move over so close to the middle? It's not the biggest thing. Okay. Actually, go back because that was better light for you. Okay. I'd rather you have good light. Okay. All right. So she don't like kids. She don't want no kids. Don't come to her with no damn kids. Okay. She ain't playing no hopscotch. She ain't playing no double dutch. She ain't playing none of that shit. None of it. And if you got older kids, I don't want to meet them. Like, there's no need for us to meet. Like I, I recently, like two years ago, I dated a um an older man. He was like forty eight. He has an older son that uh lived with him, and 
it literally took a year for me to even speak to the son. Now, Scorpio, that's not nice. He, okay. He did not introduce me to his son. And I felt like, okay, I'm your girlfriend. You should introduce me to your son. So the fact that he didn't, I was just like, oh, well, you know, you didn't introduce me, so fuck it. Like, so the son actually said hi to me first after a year. I don't know if he just thought I was another woman that was just going to stop over and never he's never going to see again. But I was there for over two years. So I guess after a year, he was just like, oh, okay, well, let me just say hi. But I wasn't going to speak to the son first. I wasn't going to introduce myself because that's your son. Like, that's his job to introduce us. I'm not, I really don't give a fuck about speaking to your son, but, you know. Okay, Scorpio, I'm going to respectfully disagree. And let me tell you why. If you're dating, just, it's just not even about introduction. But if you're around a person for a year, and I'm assuming you're older than the son, right? Yeah. There's certain things as an adult you get because you're an adult, right? So it really is for you to say, hi, how are you? My name is so-and-so. So you would just be around this little boy or, or human being and never say nothing? Well, his son, when I first met him, his son was 19. So his son was an adult. If it was a little kid, which, first of all, if it was a little kid, I wouldn't even be there. But the son was 19, and... You said the same thing that the guy was talking to said. He was just like, oh, you're older. You're the adult, whatever. You should have said something. But I don't believe in introducing myself to someone's ch children. Like, I like I felt like I would have been forcing that. And I'm not forcing anything. I just felt like if he wanted me to know his son or his son to know me, he would have, you know, introduced us. But he didn't. Well, how, how, how often was you around his son in that year of time? Well, his son was barely there. Okay. So was it a lot of interaction before the son finally said hi? No. Like I would just see him. Like he he literally was never there. He would he would be there like in the morning, then he'll be gone all day, and then he'll come back at night. So I barely saw him really. But um okay. I just saw him in passing, you know, he'll just be in the kitchen and I'll walk through or you know, he'll be coming in the house up the stairs and I'll be walking out, something like that. Well, here's the deal. I just think a man with no kids is the best man for you. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just, fellas, if you got children, she ain't the one for you. Or unless you a deadbeat dad. If you got kids you ain't care for, then maybe. Oh, no, no deadbeat dads. If, if you got kids, you need to take care of them. But I'm just saying, I don't want shit to do with it. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. You got any more deal breakers? Deal breakers. Um, I used to only be into African men. Like I've since I was eighteen to thirty one, I strictly dated African men. Like to this day, I still never dated an American man. Um, I want to say that like I'm kind of over Africans, so I really don't even want him to be African anymore. So maybe he could be like American. Okay, so American man. Um, any more deal breakers before I go to a parent? Um, like I said, I don't like selfish men. I don't like men who, um, I guess, I like, I'm bipolar. And I don't like men who aren't open-minded or men who don't like to be educated on certain things. You know, um, just from my past, men... They'll find out I'm bipolar and then they'll just like not even try to research it or anything. They'll just like just have an ignorant um, opinion about it and don't really even know about the the mental illness. But just be open minded, I guess. That's and kind that's of curious. You want to um, um, I'm ignorant at times. I know there's different effects of being bipolar. So how does being bipolar affect you? I'm moody. Like, I'm really, I'm really moody. It's just like one minute I fuck with you, then you just said something stupid, and now I don't fuck with you, and then, like, an hour later, maybe I fuck with you again. Like, I don't know. It's, like, I'm just super moody. That's that's the main complaint that I have um, from my past relationships. And, um, yeah, just being, like, super moody. Like, I'm, I'm not... 
you got one time to annoy me, especially during the beginning. Like you just got one time and I'm just over it. Okay. Um, so we did a looks question. What about money? So you make a certain amount of money? Just be able to take care of yourself. Okay. So as simple as that. Mm -hmm. Let's do the Kendra Cam Scorpio. Okay. I don't have a butt, so you don't have a butt. Okay. All right. We got some questions for you. You ready, Scorpio? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Now, I'm, before I get to the questions, cousins, you already see she don't bite her tongue and she ain't really the one to fuck with. So you can ask a question. I'm going to try to read as many as possible. But if she cussed her ass out, you pay to get cussed out. So just I want to start there. All right, I'm going to start there. So... Okay, Logical Faith said, this entire interview was giving off nothing but negativity. Why would any man sign up for this? This is a terrible deal for any man. What did I say that would, that would mean that this is a terrible, a terrible deal? I, I'm putting it on the, on the table that I don't like kids. Um, I'm putting it on the table that you need to be open-minded towards someone who has a mental illness. Um, like what's, what's, I don't get it. Okay. Logical faith. If you want to explain, she's saying she made it clear. She doesn't like kids. So that's what that is. Um, Provocator, I'm not sure if I'm saying it right, said Kendra's voice, well, oh, bipolar. Well, there you have it. Um, Being bipolar um, has nothing to do with anything that I've said in this um, live. That's just how I feel. Okay. But I haven't I haven't had like an episode, like a violent episode in like five years. So I think I've been doing pretty good. And if anybody was to ask like why I'm not on medication, it's simply just because I don't I don't believe in medicine. I believe in like natural ways. I think that there are natural ways that I can like deal with my bipolar and like i said i haven't had like a a violent episode in five years so i feel like i'm doing pretty good and i've been doing well just because i don't deal with anything that stress me out okay. anything that stress me out you you gotta go such as kids yeah because it's gonna trigger me okay okay um jessica said definitely not 33 with that mindset mature for I think that I'm actually being very mature, just putting it out there, what I like and what I don't like. That's maturity. A lot of women won't even admit that they don't like kids. That's fair. That's fair. One thing I, I can defend you in, you're making it, this is who you are. So if it's not what you want to get with, then, I mean, I'm on record saying if, if a person has kids, don't reach out to her. Because you don't really, I don't think anyone should date a person who doesn't want to accept their children. Seriously. Now, Fun time, it don't matter. But if you want to build a life with someone and then you have children, I don't think Scorpio is going to be the woman for you. <laughs> but um, all right, this is the last one I'll read for now. Little L double I said, did you get bullied by kids when you were little and then had a bad experience with children when you got older? Like my sister who hurt you honestly, hopefully you like pets. Yeah, I do love pets. I have a dog nugget. Um, no, I was never bullied. If anything, I was the bully. Um, I was never bullied in school. Um, what, what else did they say? Uh, they no, said, I don't, yeah. honestly, I don't know why I don't like kids. Um, my mom asked me that all the time. Um, I honestly can't even tell you why. Ever since I was little, I just never liked kids. I didn't want to, um, yeah, I, I didn't want to be around kids. I didn't like them, which is fucked up because I have see, see, I have five nieces and like one nephew. Okay. All right, let's go back to the questions. I see there's more questions. Let me but go this back. Is, to oh. This is my doggy. Aw, he's a good doggy, mommy. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, Scorpio, we did the last, we did, you did the Kendra cam, right? Mm -hmm. All right. When was your last relationship? Uh, Two years ago. 
Two years ago. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? Two years ago. Two years ago. Okay. Three flaws you have to work on. My attitude. Yeah. Okay. Um, my attitude. Um, I need to be way more patient than what I am. Um, and I need to learn how to be um, affectionate. I'm not an affectionate person at all. Okay. All right. That's fair. And why would a guy be lucky to be with you, Logical? Before, wait, hold on. Before you answer that, let me read. Um, Logical Faith responded to when he said it was a bad deal and you were negative. So this was the response he had to that question. He said, your tone and demeanor, I guess this is what's negative. You only dated Africans, so non-Africans know that they're not your first choice. I dealt with someone bipolar and it was a nightmare. Admitting you have issues doesn't mean it's not a bad deal. Um, I mean, I guess if you are just someone, here's the thing. If you don't, if you feel like that dealing with somebody um, bipolar is not your thing, just don't deal with them. But the fact that, that, that I'm letting it be known Anyone who reach out to me, okay, you know these facts about me. Like, I'm not hiding it. So, um, yeah, like, if it's not for you, then it's not for you. And my demeanor, what's my demeanor? Like, I'm just on here talking and I'm just, just don't deal with me. Don't fucking reach out to me. Like, the fuck? Now you, now you irritating me. Because, bitch, just don't, just don't reach the fuck out. Like, the fuck? Like, what are you even talking about? Okay, this is one. Okay, this is a compliment. Kentrell said, I don't care about that bipolar ish. She's cute as hell, speaks her mind, and attractive. So, Kentrell, it seems like he gets you. Thank you. Okay. All right. So, this was, it was, this is a good example. Logical face. She's not the woman for you, but Kentrell appreciates her. He said, I don't care about her being bipolar. She's cute as hell, speaks her mind, and attractive. So, there you have it. Okay. Now, why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Um, because despite everything that I just said, I'm really a nice person. Um, I'm really a nice person. I am down to earth. I can be funny. I can be, um, I try to be affectionate sometimes, but, um, I don't know. It's just, I don't, I really don't have anything um, bad outside of just like being bipolar or something. Like I don't have any baggage or anything like that. I'm just like, I don't talk to anybody. I don't, I don't communicate with any men right now. I haven't been intimate in two years. All I do is work, come home, be with my dog, chill with my mom. Like I really just, I'm just a simple girl for real. All you have to do is not irritate me. Like that's it. It's really not that hard. Um, okay. And let me see this one. This was a good question, I think. Darren Butler said, so being that you're bipolar, what measures would you take to ensure a man that that this wouldn't be a major obstacle for him? Um Wait, what do you say? What what measures? I guess he's saying, like, being that you're bipolar, what ways, what methods would you take to ensure that your guy wouldn't have to, I guess, I mean, let me read it again. So being that you're bipolar, what measures would you take to ensure a man that this wouldn't be a major obstacle for him? Um, I mean, I just think that me being aware of the fact that I'm bipolar is a really good thing. And... I try my hardest to, and like I said, I've been doing a good job. It's been five years since, you know, I've even had any issues. Um, it's really not an issue. It's just, you know, sometimes I get annoyed. And I think that that's kind of normal, really. I mean, everybody gets irritated with the person that they're talking to. It's, it's really not a big deal. Like, it, it's really not. You know, okay. I, I, I do a good job with keeping keeping my, my temper um, in control. Okay. Shantae said, girl, I need a friend like you. Do you? I think she appreciates, some people do appreciate your straightforwardness. All right, the mm -hmm. time has come. 
How could this is Scorpio? Oh, what's the age range you would date? Um, so I'm 33, so I would say like 33 to like 50 because I like older guys. Okay. Um, and should he be in Cincinnati, Ohio? Hell no. Please don't be. Please don't be in Cincinnati. Don't be in Ohio. Don't be in Indiana. Don't be in Kentucky. Don't be in none of those places. Absolutely. Are you going to relocate? I actually want to relocate to Nashville. I was going to move to like Houston, but it's ghetto down there. So I'm like, no. Nashville. So just as long as he's not in like Ohio, really. I'm done with Ohio. Done with Ohio. All right, let's do it. We got Scorpio, Cincinnati, Ohio, 33, truck driver, no kids, Pisces. How can the guy reach out to you, love? On Instagram, uh, my name is D Scorpio Valentino. So D as in D-E? Hmm? D as in D-E? No, uh, T-H-E. T-H-E, Scorpio Valentino. Mm -hmm. Okay, girl. Well, you keep me posted how it goes. Okay, I will. Thank you. Bye, baby. Bye. Um, I saw this question earlier, but I wasn't pertaining to her. So Logical Faith made this question earlier. I think it was who our caller before her. So I think this was to our last caller that had a 100K request. He said, most of the 100K men I know are married to average women. Men need to stop acting like 100K is celebrity status. I make 100K myself, and I'm not looking for a supermodel. But ladies, the only way that your money matters is if I have access to it. So I don't think this had anything to do with Scorpio. Nurse Jackie talked about a man making at least 100K. So I think the point he's saying is men only care how much money you make if it's going to benefit the relationship in some way. So, okay. All right. Now let's get back to our regular schedule program. Do I have any men's? Not Naheem. Naheem, show me the room. Show me the room, Naheem. I don't know. How old are you? How old are you? Hey, Kendra, what's up? Baby, you only have I a do. flashlight, honey? We need more light than a flashlight. No. Yeah, I got a light, but it lights, you know. It's too close out to get an extra lap. That's why. How old are you, baby? I'm 26. Okay, where you, how you pronounce your name? My name is Nina Robert. Say, say it for me, baby. Maya Robert. Me, Maya Robert. Naeem Maya Robert. Robert. Is it yeah, not Naeem Naeem Maya Robert. Robert? No, no, just me, just Ma her name. How, how do you pronounce uh, is your a, is a biblical name? Nehemiah. 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 Nehemiah, how old yeah. are you? I'm 26. And where are you calling me from? I'm calling from Liberia. 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 Do you have any kids? Yes. No. No kids. What do you do for a living? Uh, I'm in the business. Yeah, I do business. What I kind of business? Food, right? I I said new things for America, like living room chair, TV, clothes. Okay. Yeah. So we got Nehemiah, 26, Liberia, no kids, does business. What kind of woman are you looking for, baby? I mean, the kind of woman I want to left, I want to call fairy woman for real, because I'm a Christian. Yeah, I want to call fairy woman. That's the kind of person I want in my life. Yeah, and the person should be respectful. Because no matter what you for, once you're not respectful, I mean, I can't shield you. Yeah, I'm not going for anyone. Okay. What are your deal breakers? Um, I mean, I don't think it's any kind of way. Like, I'm, I'm, I don't guess a lot that people when it comes to love, when you think about love, like the person can be anyhow, in a way, once the person like you and how the person look. For me, I'm, I'm a stylish person, right? I'm a, I'm a guy, I'm, I'm stylish. I do things like I do things on the polish. I do, I got drag on my head. I mean, yeah. You do fingernail polish? Yeah, I just do fingernail polish for fashion. I do black. 
Okay. Um, do you want the woman to be in Liberia? Yes. When it comes to love, the woman can be anywhere. She can be in Liberia. She can be anywhere. Most relationships she can be anywhere. It doesn't matter. Anyway. Doesn't matter. Okay. Do the um, should she make a certain amount of money? No, I mean, I mean, for me, for me, I'm 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 guy, right? I believe that my wife should be anything she can be doing. I, I don't care how much she makes. I don't care. But I believe that I should be the one to do it for my wife. I should be the one to provide for her. Do things for her. She not be the one to provide for me. I don't care what kind of job she do. How much she make. No, I don't care. Okay, let's do the Kendra cam. That's when you stand up and we see your full body. I mean, I've been following Kendra through the show of that. Kendra can simply be the over in the middle of this. Okay. Yeah, I'm five or seven. I'm five or seven. Make sure you use the flashlight to see. Okay. All right. All right. We see you, honey. Okay. okay. We got it. We got it, baby. We got it, honey. You can, you can sit your ass down. Gosh. Nehemiah, Bye. when was your last relationship? Yeah. Um, that's a one year ago. I was dating a girl, but then we break up. Okay, you don't have to answer, but I'm gonna ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? I don't know if I'm, when's the last time you was intimate with someone? I'm, I said last year, and someone had it. Yeah, last year. All right, why do women be lucky to be with you, Nehemiah? Talk louder. Um, the reason why I should be lucky to be with me is that because I'm productive. I believe in business. I believe in, you know, I just loyalty that's all and I love fun. Okay. Yeah. How can she reach out to you? Yeah, like she can hit me on my Facebook, me, Mario. I got my WhatsApp too. But I prefer WhatsApp than Facebook. But still, you know, you know Facebook. You prefer what? WhatsApp. WhatsApp. No, give the Facebook or Instagram name. Not your WhatsApp. Okay, okay, Facebook. Nehemiah Robert. As you see my name there already. Nehemiah Roberts on Facebook. All right. Nehemiah Roberts, 26, Liberia, no kids. Would you date a woman with kids? Yeah, I would do a woman with kids. Okay. Yeah, the reason being I would do I don't I, 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 I want to say something. Yeah, my mother had a year or three. My father left my mother, and then my mother had ended up nigga coming away and he accepted us. So I don't mind, I would be a woman, okay? Your, you your dad left her mother. How many kids she had after? You had three kids my little brother, my older sister. Yeah, and she was struggling with her own kid. Someone came away. Yeah, so I don't okay. mind, I would be a woman, okay? Because Stay in the light, stay in the light, stay in the light. Okay, well, you keep me posted how it goes, honey. Okay, thank you. Bye, thank baby. You look like a bring. Bye. I look what? You look like a labyrinth. I you look, look like, like a labyrinth. I look like yeah. Okay. You look like a labyrinth. I got to see my 23 and me. Huh? Say again? I said you look like a labyrinth. You're beautiful. I said you're you. beautiful like a labyrinth. Okay. Thank you, baby. Thank you, sweetheart. Okay. Well, hopefully you find someone. Okay. Thank All you, right. Kendra. I appreciate Bye you then. a lot. You're welcome. I think. I actually need to do my 23 and me or ancestry.com. I don't know. I know I'm black and I know I'm African. So I was claiming God. I want to say I was from Ghana because I've been to Ghana twice. Um, but I really don't know what I am. But all right, let's keep it going. Lisa, Lisa Allen, show me the room. The other side of the room. Okay. You ready? I guess. <laughs> how, do, how do you pronounce your name? Felicia. Felicia, okay. Felicia, mm -hmm. where you calling me from? Brooklyn, New York. Is Brooklyn in the house? Mm -hmm. What are Yeah. <laughs> Get money. Oh. Right, how old are you? It's Lisa. Alicia. Alicia. Alicia, yeah. how old are you? 
34. How old? 34. 34. Okay, I, I can hear the New York accent now. What's mm -hmm. your zodiac sign? Leo. Leo, what you do for a living? A receptionist. Receptionist, you have any children? One, a girl. How old is your child? 12. 12, you ever been married? No. No. All right. So we have Leisha, 34, Brooklyn. Leo, a receptionist. One child, that's a girl, never married. What kind of man mm -hmm. you looking for, baby? Oh, child. <laughs> In New York, yeah, in Brooklyn, matter of fact, it's very hard. But mm, a kind man, a family man. Um a honest man. And a single man. Yeah, definitely. And a single man. What are your deal breakers? Liars. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's it, liars. Lot, yeah, that's the, that's the topping on the cake is liars. <laughs> okay. Um, well, um, should he look a certain way? Mm, I prefer African American. Okay. Um, tall, dark skin, brown skin, not too like, not like me. Okay. Um, you said brown skin? Yeah, dark than me. Yeah, not light skin. Okay. Um, what about money? She make a certain amount of money? Um, mm, not really. He just not knows he needs to know how to handle his money. <laughs> how he handles his money. Okay. Yeah. Let's do that, Kendra Cam. Okay. Right. You see me? Your phone is freezing. Okay, your phone froze. Okay, now I can you see you now. Yes. Okay, we see you. We see you, girl. Okay. Thank so, you. Leisha. Yes, Leisha. Leisha. Leisha, 34. What's the age range you would take? Date? Um, 32 to 40. 32 to 40. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, when was your last relationship? About six years ago. Say again. Six years ago. Six years ago. Mm -hmm. Six years ago. You don't have to answer, but I'm gonna ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? Mm, about a month ago. A month ago. Yeah. Who's this guy? Is he option? Uh, not really. Why not? He got too much going on, but not really. Okay. Too much going on. All right. Three He's not stable. stable. Three flaws you have to work on. Um, I don't know. Um, I think I expect some a lot from a person because I give a lot. Okay. You expect uh, a lot from a person. Okay. Um, I don't have patience. She doesn't have patience. What else? Um, I don't know. I can't think of a third one. Okay. Only got two flaws. Guy could think of, yes. Okay. And why would a guy be lucky to be with you? I'm nice. I'm caring. I'm cute. Okay. Um, smart. And smart? Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, child. Okay, Logical Faith got all the money tonight. He got a question for you. Oh, wow. He said, it's difficult to find a suitable man why would you limit your options in regards to skin color or tone? Also, have you asked have you asked the trusted men in your life to find someone for you? Wait, hold on. So the first question, that's just what I prefer. And did I ever ask anybody to find someone for me? I guess he's saying the men that you trust or look up to, have you ever asked them? About their friends, or they know. No, it's not that deep. No, <laughs> not that deep. Logical faith. Okay. Um, I guess the light skin thing is is getting some people. They say, why is it okay? <laughs> Jay Daniels. Oh, uh, so why is it okay for black women to say no light skinned men, but a black man can't say no dark skinned women? Um, I've talked about this several times, and I said that colorism doesn't really 
exist for when women say that I always do bring up women are if there's any colorists it's the women on my show <laughs> because more women have a, a a preference in skin tone than men so Jay Daniels I've actually talked about that before in the past all right let's okay. keep going with you um did I ask you why would a guy be lucky to be with you yeah all right then we're at the end how could the guy oh what's the age range you want to date I said from like um 30 maybe. Huh? 30 to 40. 30 to 40. Yeah. Okay, 30 to 40. And should he be in Brooklyn? No. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you have no money requirement, or did you? No, not really. As long as you know how to manage his money and you know, have a good time. Could he have kids? <laughs> One. Do you want more children? Yes. Okay. Hi, how can he reach out to you? Um, uh, my Facebook name, Leecha Allen. Okay, Leecha Allen. Yeah. Right, well, you keep me posted how it goes, girl. Thank you, Dara. Right, bye, baby. Later, Kendra. Um, there was a question for me. Uh, let me read it. Deadpool 3316 said, Kendra, I really don't think you like men that come on your show, except the ones you know, maybe. That's why men don't come on and you're very biased. Deadpool 316, go masturbate to a plastic doll. Okay, I don't got time for this shit. I don't. I'm, I, I'm not, listen, if you're sensitive, I'm not the one for you. Because I don't got time for your tears and your whining. First of all, can my hey and ass cousins, can y'all all get together and get y'all story straight? Because men saying I'm biased, women saying I'm biased. Dark-skinned women saying I don't like dark-skinned women. Light-skinned women saying I mean to light-skinned women. I would need for my haters to get together and get y'all stories straight. Because y'all can't all be haters and have different stories. Now, Deadpool, go find you a plastic doll to masturbate to. I don't got time for this shit. Now, I have plenty of men on this show that I have called good catches. I have had plenty of men on this show that I have said, okay, get ready for. I just had a great guy on the show from Facebook. Let me just show you out y'all. I'm going to tell y'all the data. This is who people like. If you a man and you attractive and you make money, you're going to do well. So Deadpool 316, I don't know what's going on in your life. But your sensitivity, I ain't got time for the shit, okay? It's not true. I actually search for men. I actually look for men in real life to bring on my show because I have so many women. So that narrative of I don't like men come on the show is just bullshit. So go find a plastic doll to masturbate to. Play with your penis and not with me. Let me keep going, child. Shit. Um, Sagittarius, you ready, girl? Show me the room. Got time for this. <laughs> Hello? Hi, Kendra. Hi, boo. How are you? Yes. All right. Sagittarius. Were you called? Are you a Sagittarius? Yes, I am. <laughs> All right. Um, how old are you, love? I'm 32. 32. Sagittarius. You have any kids? I have one. How old is your one child? He's about to be one next Wednesday. Oh, happy birthday on the way. <laughs> Why are you not with the daddy? Um, that's a long story, but his dad is not from here. His dad is oh. from, from China. Oh, wow. Was you just, I don't know, was it a vacation that turned into a baby? <laughs> no, he's actually a cool person. And we just kind of basically did an arrangement because I wanted a baby, but he didn't want to marry kids. So he really did it for me. <laughs> oh, okay. So it was like a surrogacy situation. To my, yeah. Okay, okay. Fair enough. All right. So what do you do for a living, Sagittarius? Um, I work for a hospital and I work for Amazon. Hospital and Amazon. Um, and yeah. what city are you calling me from? St. Louis. St. Louis. All right. So we got Sagittarius, 32. Uh, one child, that's almost one. Um, an arrangement child. <laughs> I mean, you know, she wants Here's to be a mom. Point. Okay. I'm just, I mean, because I, I want people to know, because they, I mean, listen, they're going to ask. No baby daddy already. drama. No baby daddy drama. We don't do that. Okay. So <laughs> would you say you're looking for now maybe the father figure role? 
Um, if I was gonna date um a man, which I love kids regardless, but I definitely will have to be someone that's gonna be setting an example around my child. Yes. Okay. She works at a hospital, Amazon, and in St. Louis. What kind of man are you looking for, girl? Oh, a man that's ambitious, that's loyal, that you know got some boom sex, you know. <laughs> um, a man that work hard because of course I work hard. I love money. Um, and you know, that's about it. And you definitely, if you got kids, you got to take care of your kids. We don't do the, I don't do all that. I, don't, I can't mess with a man that don't take care of his kids. Doesn't mess with a man that doesn't take care of his kids. Okay. What are your yes, deal breakers? A deal breaker is a man that don't take care of himself. A man that don't know how to be a man. I got to tell you how to be a man. Cause I'm not your mama. So I don't want to be out there to tell a grown man how to be a man. Okay. I got my own son if I want to tell somebody how to be a man. Okay. Yeah. And a man that don't take her his feet. That's like a pet peeve for me. Your okay, teeth we had another your... guy earlier saying about a woman don't take care of her feet. Yeah, that's a problem. That's okay. no excuse why they don't. But yeah, their teeth, I don't want to be all in your face and your breath stink. And their feet, yes. That's that's a pet peeve of mine. We Thank can you see your son in the background. He's so adorable. Like the oh, photos. I can see him. <laughs> oh, well, we see the photos. Oh, but he's next to you too. I was yeah. talking about the photo. Say hi, oh, boy. Oh my God, he's so cute. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, does the guy gotta look a certain way? Um, just handsome. Just handsome. I love all colors, so I don't discriminate on that part. I love my brothers for sure. My black brothers, but I don't discriminate on race. So I'm open to that. Okay. She's open to that. Um, what about money? Should you make a certain amount of money? Um, just work hard. Make sure that we're able to go do whatever because I'm gonna make sure I match you and I'm gonna step in and do my part, you do yours. Okay. Um let's do that, Kendra can. Okay. <laughs> I got stuff in my stuff. All right. Okay. Oh, Turn around on it. <laughs> we got you, boo. So Sagittarius is a Sagittarius, 32. Yeah. One child, do you want more kids? I would love to have maybe one or two more. One or two maybe. more? Maybe. 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 Maybe two. Just one more. I'll take one. Okay. When was your last relationship? Um, I used to be married, so I got divorced in 2022. Was you married to the Chinese man? No, I was married be, uh, out before that, before that situation. Okay. So, um, and that's a long story. So, yeah. But, yeah, I was married, and then I got a divorce in 2022. And then, yeah. Okay. So I've been dating, but nothing serious, because, yeah. Okay. And... When was the last time you was intimate with someone? You don't have to answer. Last year. Last year. Three flaws you have to work on. Um, my patience because I don't take no mess. And that's part of being a Sagittarius because I don't take no mess. I don't have no tolerance for bull crap. Um, consistency. Because soon a man shows that they're not consistent or they playing games. Yeah. I ain't consistent to it no more. She ain't consistent to it no more. All right, let's do it. We got Sagittarius, 32, one child, St. Louis. Should the guy be in St. Louis? They could be anywhere. I travel all the time. So that's okay. Fine. Did I okay? And why would a guy be lucky to be with you? I'm loyal. I work hard. I got my own money. So I don't need theirs. And I don't mind taking my man on a date. Um, it ain't always about me. Um, I know how to cook. I take care of my own child. And yeah, I work hard. I do me. She does hard. She does hard. All right, baby, let's do it. How can the guy reach out to you? Um, I'm on Instagram. It's Pressure, um, twelve ninety one, and I'm on um, Facebook as Danielle Moulton. And there you have it. All right, baby, you keep me posted how it goes. Thanks, Kendra. Have a good day. You're welcome. Bye, Bye. baby. Um, I wanted to read something. Um. Oh, uh, King, the young King Javert. This goes back to when I was talking to Deadpool earlier. He said, you're 100% incorrect with that statement, Deadpool. You haven't been watching long enough 
or seen all the videos of the men who come on her show. Thank you, King Oldjaver. I actually loved the, the opposite of what he said was, it was like really opposite because I love when I get quality men on the show because I know I have so many women looking for men. So the challenge becomes is a lot of the men that women want, they don't really need my show because they have so many options in their real life that they're, they're like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm dealing with the, I got too many on the roster. I can't add any more. So sometimes I literally recruit men I know in my personal Rolodex because I know there's so many ladies. So thank you, King Javart. I don't know if I said your name right, child, but I appreciate you co-signing me. All right, let's see. Let's see what we got here. Marcus, you ready? Show me the room, baby. Okay. How old are you, Marcus? You look young. I'm 27. Okay, we got the young men tonight. Where are you calling me from, baby? Um, DC area. DC area. And um, what do you do for a living? I'm a scientist. Mar, okay, scientist. Um, you have any children? Yeah, I have a daughter, and oh. I'm a full-time dad. Oh, you are you a single dad? Yeah. How old's your daughter? She's four. Why are you not with the mother? It didn't work out. So. so. I'm just nosy. Did she give custody? Did you try to get custody? I had to. It was a court thing. Um, technically I agreed to join custody just to prevent any strife, but she's to prevent what any like strife or drama between like any type of hard feelings, but she lives with me and her mom visits sometimes Um, her mom's in Georgia, but she'll come up and visit and whenever she can. All right. So he has full custody of his child now if a woman is concerned about that what would your response be mm, whenever the mom visits she stays in the hotel i drop the daughter off and i could pick her up from pick up my daughter from the hotel at the end of the day or whatnot so that baby mama can't even stay in the house when she come up to visit <laughs> <laughs> okay fair enough um what's your zodiac sign marcus I don't really um believe in zodiacs. Okay, I respect it. So we got Marcus, DC area, 27, scientist, dad to a four-year-old girl. He has the primary custodian. He has primary custody. What kind of woman are you looking for, love? Um, someone who's got a good sense of humor. I like laughing, I like joking around. Um, of course, like the common sense things like responsible, um, trustworthy, et cetera, et cetera. Someone who it's a big bonus if um they're into a healthy lifestyle. I want to um learn new recipes or be healthier, um, be more active, things like that. Um, has to be a black woman for sure. Um, I think that's pretty much be fit or like wanting to be active. So. Okay. Um, what are your deal breakers? No smokers, um, or vapors or anything like that. Mm. I prefer slimmer, slimmer or on fit women and no woman, no women with more than um, one kid. Okay. Do you want more children? I'm open to it. Okay. Should she look a certain way, Marcus? Um, Black, um, fit. I prefer the natural look, but I'm not against women who like um like the hair, nails, makeup, etc. I prefer, yeah, I prefer natural. But if they're into glamour, that's their thing. So I'm open to it too. Okay. Um, what about money? Does she got make a certain amount of money. No, I don't really care. Um, as far as career goes, I would ask for them not to be in like too much like in a bad financial situation where maybe they're in like a lot of credit card debt or a lot of i understand college debt because you know that's most people who went to college um just don't be in a bad don't make don't become a liability i guess 
Be responsible with your money. Be responsible with your money. All right. So we got Marcus, DC area, 27 scientists, dad to a four year old. Let's do the Kendra cam. All right. Okay. We see you. Somebody asked, what kind of scientist are you? Well, my PhD is in um, biomedical engineering, but now I do immuno oncology. So, my well, research doctor, main, you refer, Do you refer to yourself as a doctor? You don't have to, but technically, yeah. You got a PhD? That's impressive. I would refer to myself as a doctor. Thank you. I got a PhD in the bullshit. <laughs> 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 That's what I got the PhD in. All right, back to you. All right, what was your last relationship? About a year ago. The um, year ago. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When is the last time you was intimate with someone? I'm not going to answer, but I disclose it with whoever I'm talking to. Okay, fair enough. Three flaws you have to work on. Mm, I'm not good at celebrating my successes. Um, you say you're not good at celebrating your successes? I'm, I'm not good at, like, all throughout college. Every time I graduated, got another degree, I'm just like, got to keep going, not done yet. Kind of like the job's not finished type thing. Um, that's probably not a good mindset. Um, I can be impatient sometimes. And what's the third one? I can be too blunt sometimes too. You can be too blunt? Okay. And yeah. what would, what's the age range you would date, Marcus? You're 27. Oh, mm, I'd say... 23 at, at the very, honestly, 24. Usually I date a little older. So I'd say 23, 23 if they're responsible, amateur, up to 29, maybe. Okay. And 23 to 29. Should she be in DC? I prefer going to be in the DMV area. Okay. And why would a woman be lucky to be with you? Um. I think that I like to emphasize peace and happiness. So if um I have a partner, I make sure I do what I have or I do what I do to um either make them happy or listen to them as far as like spending time or making sure that I'm improving myself in the things I have to work on or just in general, just making sure there's peace and um happiness. Peace and happiness. Do you want to get married, Marcus? Is that your goal? Yeah. That is. Okay, let's get into it. So we got oh, Marcus. I should, say that, I should say that if I did have a kid, I'd have to be married. Like, having more kids. To have more kids, he has to. He wants to do it with his wife. Um, I got I got a paid comment for you, Marcus. Um, um, here it goes. Truth Heart says, ladies, you can have a soft life with Marcus. Instead, y'all want Pookie with five kids. <laughs> Truth, Truth Heart says you better hit Marcus up if you want a soft life. Sonny B says doctor is the only doctor is the only befitting title for a true PhD. Congrats from one doc to another. Thank you. Don't downplay yourself. If you got you worked hard, I'm quite sure for a PhD. Um, so I will always refer to myself as a doctor. Curtis said, listen, ladies, how much you make a year, Marcus? Oh, do you want to answer that? Well, right now, I'm technically in my residency. I graduated last year in July. So for the residency, it's not much. It's only like 75. Okay. But um, I think I'm going to probably do the residency for about two or three years. And then after that, it'll it usually goes up in the DC area. It's ranging from 120 to 180. But I also, I didn't mention any of the side things I do, but I do like use my money for like side hustles and um, just generating more income. And I think that it should, I should have mentioned as well, I'm a little nervous, but I should have mentioned as well that I'm kind of the type of person that instead of bragging about like how much I spent on this car or this watch i'd probably brag about like oh i found a good discount at this store or i found this just things like that i'm not like cheap or like about to like 
penny pinch, but I like finding good deals. I like spending my money on things I like to spend it on, but I find it a waste to spend it on things I don't really have value in. Okay. Um, I feel like you have a humbleness to you that I think is, I, I appreciate it. I feel like you, you know, you have a lot going on, but you didn't miss, you didn't miss sure that you had a PhD. This is another comment. I don't miss that. No Diddy. These are the black men that gets ignored in real life for the Pookie and Ray Ray's. Less than 7% of black people have a PhD. Well done. Thank you. And there you have it. Um, I'm going to read this because I disagree with it. Project Leroy said, come back in three years after you finish your residency. I disagree with that. And let me tell you why. First of all, you're already doing well at 75K. But no, you would want a woman that is going to come with you on this journey. So if she can't deal with you at 75K, she don't get to deal with you at 180K. Yeah. I don't agree with that. All right, well, let's just end it. Marcus, how can she reach out to you? Um, my Instagram is Dr. Marky Mark. Um, so Dr. Underscore M A R K Y M A R K. Okay. One more time for the people. Dr. Underscore M A R K Y M A R K. And there you have it. All right, Marcus. You keep me posted how it goes. I think you're. All right. Well, I will say this: you are a great catch, but you are, and I'm just gonna be honest. You have a four-year-old child now it is different i'm just gonna i don't make the rules but it is a double standard um you know usually women when they have children especially under five they are judged but i think it's different i mean from what i've noticed on my show men are not judged the same and i think it's because the man has to be the provider but um there might be some women that might be like he has a four-year-old child do i want to be a mom because i do think even if you get married, she has to accept your four-year-old child. So, yeah. but other than that, if that woman's not worried about that and she wants to love on your child, I think you are a great catch. All right, thank you. Keep me posted. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah, I don't make the rules, but I can't share the data. And it's just not the same. I mean, literally a guy can have like five kids and if he's attractive, and makes a lot of money, he'll still get, a lot of women will still reach out to him. So it's just not, listen, I'm just sharing y'all the data. I'll make the rules. But we're ending right here. We're gonna go to TikTok. We're gonna go to TikTok. I'm going to TikTok. Kendra G Media on TikTok. Kendra G Media on TikTok. So I'm going to TikTok now and I'll see you guys over there. Everybody come, come to TikTok. Did I end this?